Today I'd like to tell you a little bit about St. Sebastian. I'm wearing red because, of course, St. Sebastian was an early Christian martyr. Now, St. Sebastian was a member of the Praetorian Guard, uh, meaning the household troops of the Emperor of Rome. So somebody who was one of the Emperor's bodyguards. Now, legend has it that he entered the service because from his position as a member of the Praetorian Guard, he could minister to the Christian martyrs. It was during the reign of the Emperor Diocletian, who hated Christianity, uh, that St. Sebastian met his end. Um, Sebastian was found out as being a Christian, and so he was ordered by the Emperor Diocletian to be restrained, and so he was either tied to a tree or a stake, and then he was shot with arrows uh, from or by the local archers. He, there he was left for dead. Well, when his friends came to take his body down and bury him, they found out, miraculously it seemed, he was still alive. So he was nursed back to health. Now, he didn't then escape. He went back to Rome. He accosted the Roman Emperor and he said, look, the way you're treating these Christians is an injustice. And he went on and on. And at that time, the Emperor declared that he would be beaten to death with clubs, and so he was. And that was the end of St. Sebastian. So it's a short story, but it's an interesting story because of, well, that one fact, well, actually the two facts. He was first delivered to those archers, and then he was later beaten to death. He um, was somebody who could have left after that first attempt on his life, but he didn't. He was somebody who suffered the pains of martyrdom twice. And I, I think about that and I wonder, if I had escaped death through some near miracle, would I go back for more? Would I go back and speak to the emperor who had sentenced me to death the first time? Probably not. Few of us would, but he was somebody who had courage. He was somebody who had conviction. He was somebody who knew the truth needed to be told, and if it would cost him his life almost a second time, well, he was willing to pay that price. He was willing to pay that price again and again and again for what he believed. And so he is a saint who reminds us that we're supposed to persevere. We will find moments in which we fail. We'll find moments in which the obstacles seem to be too great for what it is we're trying to accomplish. But Sebastian says, try, try again. And if you have to give everything you have, give it for the sake of the kingdom. Sebastian's feast day is January 20th. He's the patron saint of athletes, but he's a good example for us all.